The news just dropped and I had to stop whatever I was doing this morning to record this video. Microsoft just announced that they have rolled AI into a number of their products. In this article published on the official Microsoft blog, the title states, Reinventing search with a new AI-powered Microsoft Bing and Edge, your co-pilot for the web. If you didn't know, Bing is their search engine and Edge is their browser. Wow. Google? Thoughts? So let's break this down. There are three things I wanna to cover today. First, the impact AI will have on Bing and search in general. Then the impact AI will have on Edge and browsers in general. And finally, I wanna share with you some key takeaways so you can be prepared for what's to come. So let's talk about what AI provides Bing users. According to their official announcement, Microsoft states clearly Bing will now offer better search, complete answers, and a new chat experience. For example, imagine you are throwing a dinner party for six people and two of them were vegetarian. You have no idea where to start and what to cook. Instead of performing a number of different searches, taking notes and just feeling overwhelmed, you can prompt the search engine the following. I need to throw a dinner party for six people who are vegetarian. Can you suggest a three course menu with a chocolate dessert? In the search results, you still have access to all the results, but on the right hand side, you will eventually be prompted with an AI generated response. It's good to see that it's also providing a link to the sources it's referencing. Now, I still don't know how I feel about Microsoft just summarizing everyone's work. I haven't thought too deeply into that topic just yet, but let me know in the comments below. What are your thoughts around Microsoft just summarizing everything for you? Now, beyond the summarized answer, the search engine will also roll out a full chat experience as well. So you can take your conversation even further with the AI. For example, if you wanted to follow up with a recipe for one of the specific dishes, you simply can. Now, the way we search is going to change forever. What about the impact AI will have on Microsoft Edge and browsers in general? Here is a screenshot of what Edge will be providing their users. To be clear, this isn't currently available right now, but if you want to download their native app, you can join their waitlist. This will give you access to two new features that are called Chat and Compose. In this screenshot, you can see the user wants to create a new post on LinkedIn. In the Edge sidebar, they have provided a user interface that allows the user to create a post, customize the tone, the format, and even the length within just three clicks. This UI makes it easier for the mass market to prompt its AI because some people just don't know how to use words to instruct the AI to give them the best results. So what can we take away from all this? Now, firstly, user behaviors are going to start shifting since big tech generally leads to disruption of habituation, which simply means becoming accustomed or used to something. I think over time, society is going to take AI for granted as it becomes the baseline. You will start hearing people saying, why can't this product just do it for me? Or why can't I just tell this product what I want in a few words? This will add pressure to startups and scale-ups to start shifting their direction towards a more conversational and much more simplified UI experience. Meaning we potentially might see more chat interfaces and UI that companies simply lay over the AI technology, but designed specifically for their industry. Now, secondly, other big tech companies that are threatened by Microsoft's move, including Google, and maybe even Facebook are going to be releasing their own AI products, services, and APIs. This is a counter move to stay competitive, but it also helps them reduce the authority Microsoft is gaining. Sometimes you don't always need to overtake your competitors in every aspect. Instead, you can just reduce their authority and leverage so you can even out the playing field once again. Because if there was one company that held the dominant position in the AI search field, that makes them even more powerful. So if Facebook and Google launched their own, make it for free to use, it commoditizes AI, meaning that since everyone has access to it for free, it balances out the playing field once again from a business and product point of view. Now, thirdly, SEO, which is search engine optimization, is going to be disrupted. Businesses have been investing millions of dollars in optimizing their websites to rank higher on search engines. Now, I don't think SEO will be killed off entirely because I genuinely believe the ranking of the websites does help AI understand and rank the level of authority 
and credibility of the content it's actually processing or summarizing. I do have a feeling though, that since the traditional method of searching is slowly becoming dated, I think there is a potential transition towards people relying less on traditional results and more on AI and also more authentic channels and mediums of finding information, such as following specific domain experts, influencers and creators on platforms like YouTube, where you can assess the authenticity a little bit more. Now, last but not least, I think there is going to be a swarm of new and existing startups pivot into the AI field. I believe investors are also going to be dumping millions of dollars into this sector because that's the new narrative for the next few years. Yes, there is a tightening in VC funds, but that capital still needs to be deployed and utilized. So I sort of see a lot of opportunities for designers and developers in this field moving forward. That's it for this video. Let me know in the comments below, what are your thoughts around this entire matter? If you like this video, make sure to gently smash that like button, subscribe for the diehard fans. And if you wanna learn more, you should definitely check out this video and I will see you in another video very soon. I'm so bad. Generally, Lee, oh, ah, so bad. Oh, it's so bad. Bad, 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 bad. <laughs> what am I doing?